All right, so have you ever taken interest in a sport, a career, uh, an instrument, um, whatever it may be, a hobby? Whatever that may be in life at some point that you took interest in and to say you failed, okay? But that's fine. There's nothing wrong with failing because it helps us get back on our feet again. And maybe we just need to figure out a different uh, avenue, okay? A different path. Maybe that's just not going to work out for us. But failing allows us to actually lead to success um, in most situations, okay? Some people uh, fail at things and they just never pick themselves back up. This same type of thing happens when it comes to trading, all right? Because trading is a craft. It's an art, you know? Um, uh, it's a skill level, okay? There's no science to it. It's, it's something that you have to perfect, all right? And I see a lot of people within the first 30 days of trying to accomplish this goal, this feat of wanting to become a successful trader and make money doing this, they fail. And the reason why they fail most times is, one, they did not received the proper education they did not or were not able to properly educate themselves because that was me i had to i educated myself on how to do this and it took me longer than most it took me two years and i talk about that in a lot of videos because i thought i knew how to read market structure and i did not and i'm gonna tell you now the recipe to becoming great at trading one major component is market structure that and price action I kind of relate this back to reading a book in a sense. When you read whatever it may be that you're reading, you're reading to comprehend what's going on, the storyline, the message, all right? And then you, you if you ever went to school, been in school, and I say if you went to school, because I'm sure a lot, most of everybody's went to school, um, to what level, we don't know. Um, but anyways, what I'm saying is that that teacher, that professor may say, I need for you to do a paper on what you read. So you have to... Um, Compile all that information, okay, all those different chapters, and devise an essay, okay, that uh, depicted what took place, all right, the information-wise within that, that, that story. It's the same thing when we're reading the charts. We have to compile the information that we see that's unfolded and, and, and laid out on, on the charts, the movement in which the banks and institutions are doing so that we can understand how to move with them, how we can execute, execute and take trades at specific zones. I trade supply and demand, and that's the reason why I started this channel, was that to help supply and demand traders out, or those are interested in trading supply and demand. Okay, all that is is, is selling and buying at key areas or high, or, or high probability areas of uh, supply or demand. And I have a key strategy in how I trade that in which I take trades every single day and I post them over on our Discord community, which is free. So if you're interested in joining, just find the link down in the description portion of the video. So all you got to do is free and join, okay? Um, not just myself post, you know, uh, entries or trades that I take, but there are community other community members that are part of the, uh, uh, the Discord channel as well or server that post their trades too. That space was created for individuals, for traders um, that trade futures to be able to share their trades and be able to discuss their trades openly with other traders, okay? Not every single body trades the exact same way I do, and I don't push people to trade the same way I do. I just share, okay? I don't have a paid training or trading course of that nature to where I'm charging several hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars, okay? I put this information out here because I believe that, that, that um, uh, knowledge is power. Okay, and I believe as people, it's our goal to be able to help other people in terms of sharing what we know. This is the only way that life um, gets better. This is the only way that we are able to pass things forward. This is only uh, this the only way that we can see generations to come and and life to get better over time. Meaning, um, just things to develop and, and get greater over time. Okay, so. You may take something what you learned from me today and put your own spin on it and become greater at doing so in time or whatever the case may be um, next week. I don't know. But I believe in myself sharing what I know other individuals that has that and where it has found me success so that they can take the same thing and uh, replicate it and, and and find success in doing so on their own. Helping other other people out to me uh, is really a, a goal of mine in a sense of because I believe that, you know, it makes me feel good on the inside as a person if if I've done something great, maybe to help other help someone else out. You know, I don't have the answers for all, and nobody does. 
Okay, just because you're great at, at one or two things doesn't mean that you are um, great at all. Okay, so I'm just saying this, for guys. I know it's a little bit off topic, but I'm just saying if you have something, or you know something, share it with other individuals. Don't hoard information because at the end of the day, you're only hurting yourself. Okay, because our blessings are counted by the ble- by the things we we do. So pass it forward, and that's why I'm I'm doing this to and have been doing this. And two years ago, I started this channel because I want to see people succeed. I want to see people become successful. And again, I'm not telling anyone to trade like I do, but they, there are people, many people that are traders that are part of this community that have found success by watching the videos and educating themselves properly. Okay, I don't handhold here, but I provide the tools so that people can, can become um, profitable and consistent. Now, you may not see it like I do. So that's a lot of times the reason why people struggle and are, are become unsuccessful because they can't think the same way you do. No matter how hard you pound it and show it time and time again, some people just aren't going to get it, you know, and, and I don't know what more to do, but continue to make these type videos. But I'm telling you this for a reason because a lot of people, when it comes to trading, fail within the first 30 days of doing so because they do not know how to properly, they didn't receive the, receive the proper education in a sense, okay? Um, a lot of them have burnt through funds because they spent thousands upon thousands of dollars trying to take courses, um, which in the end, you know, they just blew money and they might as well just went down the street and threw it out the window because it got them nowhere in a sense, okay? If you really want to know how to trade the correct way, just learn market structure. Learn how to read the market. And you can do this in your own time. You don't need anyone to show you the way. You can just basically take the time to be able to read and understand market structure. I talk about market structure and I've, you know, several videos here on this channel. So go back and you know kind of watch those videos. I recommend you watch them all. Okay. I know there's 700 some videos and I know you're probably saying, man, he's crazy. You think, you think to sit here and think I'm going to uh, watch 700 videos. I'm not telling you to do so, but that's why I created the Elite Channel. Um, group okay if you're interested in joining that i want to talk about that right quick because people always are asking about that uh, sending me dms all it is is just a um it's a group it's a tier-based program that youtube has allowed content creators to really uh give back to their their, their community so i provide trade breakdowns i go in great depth and detail about my trades i walk you through my mindset as if you were sitting next to me why i took that trade or what i was thinking about uh, take while I was thinking about taking that trade, lead up to why I took that trade, stop loss placement and target profits, you know, uh, drawing on the zones, you know, just giving you the rundown of the trades that I've taken, and that has helped plenty, and I mean many of uh, a traders part of this this uh, community out, and, and a lot of them have found success just by watching the trade breakdowns. Also, you receive the video playlist, and then those small little perks and rewards like the emojis and the priority uh, to reply to comments, and you know, so it's six dollars and ninety nine cent a month. You don't have to do it if you choose not to. I'm just telling you that it's there. Um, if you want to receive the trade breakdowns and get a fuller understanding of trades that I've actually taken and why I took those trades, I'll walk you through the steps. But outside of that, um, you know. The Discord is free, so if you're interested in joining the Discord, you can find that link down in the description as well. So both those links, the Discord link and the uh, Elite Membership link to become an Elite Member is down in the description portion of the video. You'll find that down below. But getting back to what I was saying about the first 30 days, a lot of people fail. They blow through money that they, one, may have had and put away to trade with. And what I see, what happens most times is people blow through money that they don't have. Let me stop and say this. If you're trading or trying to trade or want to trade with funds that you do not or cannot afford to lose, stop and don't even start. Okay? I'm not saying don't start educating yourself and learning. I'm just saying don't put any money into an account. That's what I'm saying. Until you have funds that you can actually and are ready to start trading with that you can put into an account, all right, and afford to lose in a sense that you do. You know, if, if, if that was to happen, I don't want to see anybody lose any money, but that comes with the territory. I mean, we're going to take, you know, trades sometimes that are not going to work out. The key to doing so and getting out is to prop, uh, to, to, uh, practice proper risk management or trade management, I should say, and knowing how to get out of the trade early enough. So you're not, uh, so the trade's not blowing through your stop loss and, you, and you're taking, you know, a larger loss. Okay. But within the first 30 days, I see a lot of people, you know, they try to rush and put money into an account. Oh, I'm going to get rich overnight. I'm going to put $10,000 in there. And I'm telling you, I've seen people blow big money, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 or more. Um, 
and, and sometimes just in a matter of a few trades. Don't be that statistic. Please do not. A lot of people within the first 30 days, I'm telling you, they end up quitting. They end up giving up because they think this is like a red light, green light, you know, type um, game. Like going to the casino and just throwing funds or, or some money into a slot machine. It don't work like that. There is a systematic uh, process that's going on you know there's a certain thing that's going on you have to be able to understand what are these institutions and banks doing and trade according with them okay retail traders we are trying to grab the crumbs that the banks institutions are leaving behind and a lot of times we can take some big sweet moves if we know how to trade with them the correct way because they're leaving a footprint on the charts for us to be able to do so so you have to be able to be able to read the market the correct way when I first started, I thought I needed a bunch of indicators to trade with. Indicators, I'm telling you, for me, they didn't work. They fail um, because they do not move in real time with the markets. Okay, trust that. By the time you get into a trade based on what the indicator is showing you, you're going to miss half the move or, or all the move already. So please, do yourself the biggest favor. I'm going to say it again. Understand how to take trades based on market structure, reading the market, and price action. Price action traders, those that tell you that they trade by, based on price action, you may, they're the ones that are most are the most successful, okay? Really, all right? The only indicator that I use or tool I use is the volume profile, and I just use it like a, G, and it means like a GPS, you know, according to where my zone may line up with it, all right? It's the last thing I look at, you know, and sometimes, I don't, most times I don't even look at it, you know? I'll be honest with you, but I like having to the chart if I need to see, hey, are we at a, um, discounted area or premium area if i'm looking to sell or buy those type things okay it helps me out uh, but outside of that you know i just want to share that with you guys today so do yourself the biggest favor receive the proper education first and foremost okay you can educate yourself yourself as i did it took me some time because i thought i knew how to read the market correctly i did not did not it took me almost two years to get into and become a consistent, but I had to go back to the drawing board and figure out market structure was uh, my fail point. So I had to figure out how to read the market correctly. And that's when things started to turn around for me. So just, you know, take a step back, learn how to read market structure. Okay. Learn that piece there. Once you get there, you're, I'm telling you, market structure and price actually, you're 90% of the way there. The psychology piece, if you're struggling with any part of, I don't know, fear, greed, um whatever it may be because there's so many different elements to um that psychology piece when it comes to trading whatever you may be struggling with upstairs uh maybe you're having a bad day you know uh, maybe something personal is going on in your life don't trade okay because i'm telling you your emotions are, are tied to this business of trading and when you're not right mentally it can affect you and cause you to probably lose some money so please get that right to the psychology piece also having a proper trading plan okay that includes all that is is a, is a set of rules that you're going to live by that you're going to stick to that you're going to hear yourself to each and every day when you sit in front of these charts and that's an individual plan for each person stick with it whatever you have in your plan and you found that to be consistent whether it's you take a certain day off during a week from, from trading, you know, um, you have a certain strategy that you trade and you stick with that, um, whatever that may be, okay? Then stick with that on the daily. Don't deviate from that. Most people find themselves losing trades when they step away from their trading plan. Stick to the plan. Strategy, part of the plan, okay? Stick with that. Now, some people can trade, you know, using different different strategies, you know, um, whether it be supply and demand, liquidity sweep. Some people may trade, I don't know, support and resist. There's so many different strategies out here that people trade. So, but whatever you find that you're consistent with, stick with that. If you're good at just using one strategy and you play that same one over and over again, stick with it. Just look for the right set setups. But I love supply and demand because it, it, it shows you within the market or areas in the market where... Uh, the banks institutions are really like they're driving, you know, where they're really pushing hard at either to the upside or to the downside where they feel or, or put on a lot of orders to, to push the market up or down. That's why I trade supply and demand because it's easier to see in a sense um, and it just makes more sense to get in at trades to where a move started uh, taking place at. So I can see those opportunities. I can see the footprints they're leaving uh, all over the charts, okay? We as traders that trade supply and demand just have to figure out which zones, which one of those areas um, would be more likely, you know, for us, for the banks or 
institutions when they get back there to transact at again. You know, I mean, maybe it's, there's some orders left on the table. They they, they moved away from a, a particular area real quick, and they got to come back and fill some orders. I talk about that, but uh, but I just want to share that with you today. I know there are so many people within 30 days, and sometimes a little longer than that. Uh, sometimes people spend years trying to perfect this and they never get it. But what I find found or find time and time again is that they don't know how to read the market. They fool themselves. People really, really think they know how to read the market the correct way. And that's their biggest downfall. Okay? I'm telling you. It took me two years to really figure that out. But everybody may, you know, have their own little um, kink or uh, problem when it comes to trading that they just need to iron out. It may not be market structure. It could be something else. I don't know. But for me, that's what it was. So I just want to leave you with that. Figure it out. You know, don't give up after 30 days if you really think and you love doing this. I know that if you put any money into the market and you don't know how to trade within the first 30 days and you lose a few thousand dollars or maybe even ten thousand dollars, yeah, that would cause anybody to probably want to like just stop. Okay. First, because you probably lost money you didn't you couldn't afford to lose, or maybe you had the money to lose and you're saying that I can't afford I don't want to lose any more money. I could you think about ten thousand dollars and what you could have done with ten thousand dollars so that's why when i first started off i'm gonna be honest with you i just started with small amounts of money and the moment i i you know i was i would be up profiting and then the next day lose lose some money whatever it was like a it was, it was a seesaw effect it was back and forth that's when i stopped i said no more i'm not gonna allow myself to take another trade until i really figure out what i'm doing wrong okay and i commend everyone out there that stops well in, ahead of time in advance to say the same thing stop Take heed, figure out what it is you're doing wrong, and then come back to the drawing board again. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. If you're interested, once again, to join the Discord, it's free. Find the link down in the description portion of the video. If you're interested in becoming an elite member for $6.99, which I talked about early on and what you receive in this video, that link is right below the Discord link in the description portion of the video. When you click on it, there will be two tiers that pop up. Make sure you choose the one that says Elite Channel Supporter, okay, or it may say Elite Channel Member, but you'll see the fee there or the amount for $6.99 a month. That's all it is, okay, a month, okay? Um, and But that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Or you can click on the Join button that you see right here in front of you on the video. You click on that, the same thing will pop up, two tiers. But that's all, I, that's all I have to say, guys. If you're not a current subscriber, please take the time to go ahead and sub by clicking on the subscribe button. Make sure to turn on all your post notifications. And last but not least, if you found value just in the topic, in the information I'm talking about today, if you're someone to struggle, you, as I'm speaking right now, or you're on the verge of quitting, don't quit. But just take a step back and don't start and stop from trading with your own funds until you can figure things out. Please drop a like on the video. Take care. I'll see everyone in the next one.